Welcome to the World Computer Tech Talks. My name is David and I'm a Senior Engineering Manager at the Definity Foundation. The Internet Computer's vision is to make it possible for more and more software to securely run on-chain. This requires two things, sufficient compute capacity and sufficient storage capacity. In this episode, I will talk about the second ingredient, the Internet Computer's storage capabilities. I will start by talking about which types of storage blockchains can generally offer and why fully replicated storage, the storage type currently offered by the internet computer, is a key ingredient of fully on-chain dApps. I will continue to discuss the internet computer's unique architectural properties, which make the IC's huge replicated storage capacity possible. And finally, I will provide an overview of where we currently stand and our plans for next steps. So let's start by diving into the storage types. In fully replicated storage, the protocol ensures that all participating nodes store a full copy of the data. This means all nodes are guaranteed to have the data readily available during smart contract execution, and smart contracts can directly read and write this data. From a smart contract developer's point of view, this type of storage feels much like RAM in a conventional computer program that's kept running forever. This is in contrast to distributed storage, where the protocol merely serves as an orchestrator to decide which nodes store which part of the data. This means not all nodes necessarily have all the data, and it's not feasible to directly compute on these data during smart contract execution. Due to these limitations, this storage type is mostly used for storing static data, which does not need to be accessed during smart contract execution. When thinking of Web3 applications, replicated storage is a very powerful concept. Smart contracts can directly compute on the data during replicated execution. This way, they can offer an interactive experience similar to what people are used to in Web2. However, replicated storage also comes with scalability challenges. The Internet Computer's architecture features three concepts that uniquely set it up to tackle these scalability challenges and provide huge fully replicated storage. The first one is deterministic decentralization. The network nervous system DAO makes an informed decision on which nodes it admits to the network and which nodes will be part of a subnet. Thus, diversity and decentralization goals can be reached with a much smaller overall node count per subnet compared to a setting where any node is allowed to join the network. The second one is the high performance storage layer implementation. Recently, the entire storage layer of the IC was reworked as part of the Stellarator milestone. Among other things, the new storage architecture is a significant step towards more fully replicated storage capacity per subnet. The maximum storage capacity per subnet was increased to one terabyte right at the launch of the Stellarator milestone and recently increased once more to two terabytes after some further experiments to confirm that the internet computer can handle these amounts of data. Crucially, the new architecture also makes follow-up projects that would enable even more replicated storage per subnet possible. The third important architectural property is about the possibility to scale out by adding subnets. The Network Nervous System DAO can spin up new subnets when needed, so new storage capacity can be added on demand. Many people at Definity are constantly working on pushing the boundaries in terms of storage. Here is a graph showing how far we've already made it since launch. Back then, a subnet was able to support roughly 50 gigabytes. Today, a subnet supports 2 terabytes of replicated state, with more to come. The internet computer currently has 47 subnets, meaning the overall replicated storage capacity is currently at 94 terabytes. Nothing else in the space comes even remotely close to this amount of fully replicated storage. Finally, I also wanted to take the opportunity to tease another cool project that is coming soon. As I've explained before, fully replicated storage is a very powerful and a key ingredient to build fully on-chain Web3 applications. However, there are also applications that would benefit from distributed storage. For example, for cheaply storing huge amounts of static assets that are not needed during smart contract execution. So ideally, the internet computer would offer both options. This is why Definity is in parallel to the efforts on scaling fully replicated storage, also working on protocol extensions that will additionally provide distributed storage. You will hear more about this soon. This overview showed that the internet computer is well set up to tackle scalability challenges related to storage required to ultimately 
realized the vision of more and more software running fully on-chain. Try it out today by deploying your dApp to the internet computer and join us in our journey toward the world computer.